What's up everybody, Mark Brooks here with Art of Baseball, with your Baseball A to your Baseball Q. Alright guys, welcome back. So I had a question here from a guy named Bob who has two sons, one's a switch hitter. He's 12 and he wants to know what can he do to help his son learn how to hit from the left side. So he's a natural right-handed hitter um, and he's just now starting to experiment with hitting from the left side. Now. I was actually a switch hitter and I didn't necessarily start switching full time until I was about in my early 20s. I started messing around with it um, in my senior year of high school, I was around 18 years old. But I never really got to the point where I felt legitimately uh, effective, consistent at the plate from the left side, even though I eventually became a better hitter at that side. But before we get started, before I give you a few tips, there's uh, a concept, scientific, scientific concept that I have want to introduce you to, and it's a word called myelin. Uh, maybe you may or may have not heard it, um, the myelin sheath, if you um, paid attention in biology class, uh, maybe it sounds familiar, but essentially what the myelin sheath is, um, it's essentially a, um, an insulator that goes on the, the neurological wires that are in your brain. So it's much the same way how an electrical tape works around uh, electrical wire. The myelin sheath, the myelin, is an insulator that helps uh, move along the electrical information in our synapses. Now, what, why this is important is because, and how this relates to developing skills, specifically with switch hitting, is much of talent, much of physical skill sets that we learn has to do with the brain, the brain activity. Uh, we call that muscle memory. Now, what's a more accurate uh, definition of this or representation of this is actually neural memory, or neurological memory. And so as athletes or as players trying to build new skill sets, ones that feel at first uncomfortable like hitting from the left side, we have to find a way where we can build that myelin sheath, that myelin, as fast and as effectively as possible. So, the other advantage, well, here's another thing. When myelin was first discovered uh, by scientists, what they thought um, the, the myelin sheath was for was purely insulation, purely to keep things inbound, make sure that the energy from the synapses, from the neurological pathways, the energy wasn't leaking, essentially. What they assumed was that the myelin sheath was unresponsive. What they found now was that it absolutely is responsive uh, and that it grows in relation to the electrical activity, i.e. practice. So the more electrical activity we can stimulate through the myelin sheath, the faster, the more layers we grow exponentially. So what are some ways that we, what are some things that we can do as hitters to develop the myelin sheath that are specific to hitting from the opposite side of the plate? So one of the things that I like to do, or what I did was, and these were kind of hokey things, or you may think are hokey, but everything that I did right-handed, I would do left-handed. So I would brush my teeth, uh, I would eat, and I would write left-handed. Writing will be hard and um, probably be the most uncomfortable, so you may have to switch back and forth. But what that does is that helps stimulate that side of the brain that's conducive to hitting baseball from that side of the plate. Um, the other thing that you can do, and this may be something that you may do on the weekend, but try hitting the try hitting um, in the middle of the night. So try hitting, maybe set an alarm clock and wake up around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know that sounds odd, but that is when your brain is most responsive. There's a, a neurological state. I'm not sh sure what the scientific term for it is. Uh, I'll make sure to link it down below if I can find it. But what, what that essentially is doing is that's helping you increase your neurological memory that's being set at that time. So um, I hope that helps you. I hope this makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Basically what this is, this is a, an issue. This is a, your chance to develop neurological memory by doing things that are not necessarily orthodox. A lot of this stuff is going to be unorthodox, but the funner that you can make this entire process, the quicker you're going to learn Again, I didn't learn how to hit full-time from the left side until I was about 22. I was at Division I college, um, but it was absolutely worth it. Um, the advantage of hitting from both sides of the plate is that the curveball always curves towards you, which is a huge advantage. So I hope that helps you. Talk to you later.